account, according to the Supreme Court's decision, we must seek the General Assembly's assistance in expressly permitting cities of the first class <coughs> the authority to set their own minimum wage. My friends, I don't believe this issue is about politics at all. It's not about Democrats. It's not about Republicans. I believe it's whether this city can follow through on a moral obligation that has returned a positive economic impact here locally. The issue is about the hardworking men and women who live in the city, some working 40 plus hours every single week, but unable to properly feed and clothe their children. The federal minimum wage that the state currently enforces just doesn't cut it in the city of Louisville. Instead of dignified work, and that's the right direction, pushing people where they can have dignified work, where they can earn a livable wage, where they can feed and clothe their family properly. But instead of dignified work, our working poor will have to rely, will have to rely on social programs and subsidizations to even make ends meet. And taxpayers fit that bill. This is the wrong direction, morally and economically. We proudly encourage our businesses that have already paid the state's minimum wage where we support the businesses that have gone above that and that have been good corporate citizens and have made sure they pay a livable wage who treat their employees properly. And we're hoping that even after the Supreme Court's decision, um, they will stay true to their employees in the city. As the largest, most diverse city in Kentucky, we'll continue to champion the need for our constituents and we'll continue to push the state for policies that better protect them. Thank you. Next, I'd like to hear from Councilman uh, Bill Hollander. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, well, I uh, disagree with the court's decision and know that very similar laws have been interpreted, interpreted differently in other states. The court has now spoken. And it's time now for the Kentucky <coughs> General Assembly to act. Most of the states surrounding Kentucky already have a minimum wage that is higher than Kentucky's. Why anyone would think that the lowest paid worker in Cincinnati deserves at least $8.10 an hour, but the same worker in Lowell is worth $7.25 makes no sense, and it insults hardworking people. The General Assembly needs to raise the minimum wage throughout the state. Failing that, it needs to recognize what Justice Hughes' concurring opinion says. Conditions are different in our rural and urban areas, and the cost of living in Louisville is indisputably higher for housing and other necessities than the cost in other areas. As Justice Hughes has noted, the General Assembly could quickly and easily recognize home rule authority in the area of minimum wages and it should do that in January. No one, no one should applaud a ruling that diminishes our home rule authority. And no one who calls themselves compassionate should be happy with a decision that cuts the pay of people who are already making poverty level wages. It's time, actually way past time, for the General Assembly to step up and act. And it's time for our citizens to demand that action. Mr. Mayor. Well, good afternoon. I'd like to thank uh, President Yates and the Council for asking me to come uh, over today and say a few words. Um, obviously, we're known in our, in our city, around the world, for being a compassionate city. And by that, we mean we want all of the potential of our <coughs> citizens to, to thrive. Uh, we worked with the Metro Council to increase our minimum wage in order to help us in this area. Uh, when we talk about the minimum wage, too, I want people to remember uh, $7.25, the old minimum wage. If you're working 40 hours a week, you're making $15,000 a year. So for the folks that have legislative control in Frankfurt, I want to ask you, do you think you could live on $15,000 a year? And think about your brothers and sisters throughout this state in a way to help out just a little bit here. It's unfortunate that these are our most vulnerable citizens. These are going to be the folks that are going to be impacted by today's decision the most. And our job as elected leaders is to lift everybody up in our commonwealth here, and especially our most vulnerable citizens. 
So I'm disappointed, but I respect the fact that the Supreme Court has, certainly has the authority to make this ruling. Uh, we believe that we should have uh, local control to do this, and we will work with our partners in Frankfurt to achieve that level of local control. I want to say a few things about economics. Uh, the increases that Louisville put forth in, the increases we put forth here in Louisville, we're working with our business partners, working with Metro Council, they were not a big stretch. Uh, we know in our city today that if you're not paying in the neighborhood of $10, $11 an hour, you can't find people to work. So the minimum wage increases that we put forth up to $9 an hour don't even meet the minimum threshold of most of the jobs in our city here today. Our job market continues to improve. Our unemployment rate is 4.2% while people are paying these higher wages already. And so it's very difficult for employers to find people at $8.25. So it's dispiriting to see the ruling coming from our Supreme Court here today. So we continue and will continue to support increasing the minimum wage because it is absolutely the best thing to do for working families. We're not even talking about a living wage here, folks. We're talking about just an increase in the minimum wage. Now, ideally, uh, the minimum wage will be addressed at the federal level. And with the new president coming up and new members of Congress, perhaps we have that opportunity. Just this past year, when you take a look at our state, 68%, 68% Kentuckians supported increasing the minimum wage. It's hard to find anything that 68% of the people on. But regardless if you're a Democrat, a Republican, independent, this is not a partisan issue. People expect to be paid just a decent starting wage, and there's broad support for that here in Kentucky, and we're feeling that all around our country as well. So along with my colleagues up here, I am also calling <coughs> the State General Assembly to take action in the upcoming session that would allow us locally to reinstate our past minimum wage ordinance. And this is, again, I want to emphasize, I'll take a look at Frankfurt, our legislature, legislature is partners in this effort. Please let's not make this a partisan issue. We see broad support throughout our state to do that. The Supreme Court ruled on what they saw statute the law was today. Elected officials in Frankfurt have the power to change those laws and to change those statutes where this would become the law of our commonwealth and it would be well received by the vast, vast majority of Kentuckians. The last thing, obviously we have uh, 18, 19 days uh, to this election coming up. I would ask all citizens to ask the candidates that they are interested in voting for what is their position on the minimum wage? Get a yes or no answer, no wishy-washy answers. You need to know, and then vote accordingly. Thank you.